If you'd like to make your Power Query refreshes less likely to fail, then I've got two lines of code for you. Let's go. Here's my scenario. I want to be able to replace nulls with zeros without actually referencing these column headings because I know in my data that those may change. So there's all sorts of scenarios this can apply with. Keep it simple, nulls replaced with zeros, but you can put whatever you want in there. Let's do this. So what happens is if I change this to org and I right click refresh, this still works. If I add July and put in one and five and refresh, it automatically does the replace for me and captures it all even with a new column. It's dynamic, it's more flexible, it's more robust. So here's how we do it. And it's two lines of code. So here we go. We click in the source file and we say data from table slash range or get data from another Excel workbook or however you're pulling your data in. You know, you get into the Power Query window and you're into this screen and normally you've got source and a change type step kicks in. Um, first things first, that change type step often refers to column names. And if they may change, then you want to delete that change type step. Because when you refresh this next week or tomorrow or in three months time, you don't want this to break because the column names have changed. Okay, so we've got this source step. Now the clever bit really is the, um, well, let's see what happens here. If I just want to go to August and February, and I right click replace values. And let's just see what comes up. Okay, I want to find the nulls and replace them with zeros. So this is my formula and it hard codes in these column names. And I could have done that for all these columns. I could have you know, selected them all. So if those columns might potentially change, that's not great but I'm gonna use this, so I'm gonna keep this little bit of um, formula here. So what I'll do instead is, if I go back a step and I now say, click on this FX, I just wanna get the column headings. So insert, so I clicked on the little FX, I've gone to insert a step, and you see it just refers to the source step. Well, there's a function, table.columnNames you just pass it a table. That source step is really a table. So here we go, table dot column. Um, a little bit of a Power Query IntelliSense bug here. If I just double click or press tab, watch the word source disappear. It's pretty annoying. Um, you can control Z to undo and put a couple of spaces there maybe. I hope they fix this up at some point. So there's column names, open the bracket, delete the extra bracket, close the bracket, a little bit fiddly, but table.columnNames source. Give it a tick, and there's my list of column names. So just scan through those columns and turn them into a list. And this will just be called my headers. And now what's left is to tweak this formula. You know, it's not working now because I've made a change here. So firstly, it's not the headers, that is the, it's the source that wants to be the first step. That's where all the data is coming from. And then I replace this little list here, these records in the curly brackets with the word headers. Press enter and it's done. That's pretty awesome. See the zeros? It's changed them all. Replaced all the nulls without referencing any actual headers. If I go to the advanced editor, you can see there, there's no reference to any of the headings. And you can just replace this null and zero with whatever you think you need. If you need to change the types, which you, you should, um, in this scenario, I'd unpivot and change them and maybe um, handle it that way. But um, Gil Raviv has got a really good post on how you can write a custom function to run through all the different um, headings here and detect the types without referencing the actual columns. So I'll put a link of, to that article in the description. So hope you find it useful. Click on the Access Analytics symbol to subscribe and give us a like if you feel like it. Please leave a comment, love having some feedback 
Um, let me know what you think and we will catch you later.